Hello and welcome to Adam and Craig Do Stuff where today we are doing Flamingo Land. Yay! <laughs> It is a place that neither of us have been to together and um, we've both been here as children but that was a long time ago i mean i was 11 so that was 13 years ago so i imagine a lot has changed since we have last been um we're definitely not going to do the splash zone because we've not brought our shorts and it's probably not uh, the right weather to do it either um Kamali is shut today so we're not going to get on that um and everybody seems to be queuing for velocity so we're going to head straight to mumbo jumbo and do that um which is over there the orange one i don't know if you can see it I'm very so, excited yeah. for this yes very excited for mumbo jumbo yeah very excited as well because a lot of it i don't remember so no. it will be like going to a brand new park again yeah. i mean there's some bits that i remember just looking around now um and also it's half theme park half a zoo so that'd be nice, it's nice to be with us. yeah what i remember is kamali i think that was the only coast that was oh no velocity was here as well velocity would have been here but other than that everything's pretty much new to me so i can't remember any of the roller coasters i remember having one but i was like way too scared to go on them back then um <laughs> yeah <laughs> First couple of rides of the day done. Um, we did Mumbo Jumbo first and then Velocity. Um, Mumbo Jumbo was really fun actually, I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, yeah it's a bit like a crazy mouse sort of thing, um, but the queue was quite long for that one, um, so we did queue for quite a while. Yeah, I mean it has to be it has to be said like the the turnover here yeah. is really it's slow, slow, like painfully slow today. Yeah. Uh, which is a shame because I mean, I mean, there's no one here. There's no, literally, I mean, you can look around, like behind us. 
there's absolutely nobody here, and yet we've still just queued like 20 minutes for Velocity and half an hour for Mumba, Mumba or Jumbo. Maybe just over, maybe. Maybe even yeah. more than half mm -hmm. an hour, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, just because they're so slow getting people on, which is a shame, which is a real shame, because yeah. it's nice when you come on a, a Monday like this and you expect it to be, you know, quiet, like Polton's Park. We just. It yeah, was it was brilliant, wasn't it? Weren't we? Yeah, I mean, really, we should be walking on stuff here, can looking yeah. at the amount of people that are in the park. But sadly, that's not the case. Mm. Shame. But Mumbo Jumbo was great, wasn't it? It was great, and Velocity was really Velocity good. Was I really, really liked good. that one. As I, well. been, I liked both of them. I have been on that when I was a child, but I don't really remember it that well. The launch was more powerful. Than yeah, I remember it, it really got your breath. I didn't expect it to be quite a good, yeah. such a good launch, but yeah, yeah I, really I thought it was going to be a lot more tamer, more like a. Icony sort of, but no, it yeah. was really good. It was really good launch on that, um, and a really good coaster. And Mumbo Jumbo is just bonkers, isn't it? It's just a really mm. weird layout in the best possible way. Uh, but we're stood at the moment in front of what we believe is going to be called Incursion. I don't think we've ever even confirmed that yet. Uh, which is the new one for next year, maybe 2022, maybe 2023. Who knows? But eventually, hopefully, it's going to open. For those of you who don't know, this is basically it's basically Colossus with a couple of changes. Um, but hopefully it's going to be smoother, which is why we're excited for it, because I think Colossus is an excellent layout of a coaster, but it's just so rough. It ruins, yeah. it ruins the experience <laughs> yeah. completely, doesn't Not it? Not massive fan of Colossus. So with this being new and unused, and it's got a different type of restraint, it's going to have lap bars by the looks of it. Um, so hopefully it's going to be much, much smoother, and um, I'm really excited for that because these barrel rolls at the end, what we normally call the washing machine on Colossus, are really good, aren't they? Mm. So if it's a bit smoother than Colossus, I'll be really, really happy. So we will be back next year when that opens. Um, probably on a weekday again because I'm not coming a weekend if it's going to take this long to get on things. Um, we're going to go do Hero next. Our Hero gets a really really bad reputation for being uh, painful, rough and torturous. But we're going to go see for ourselves, we're going to go with an open mind and we'll let you know once we come off it, won't we? We will, yeah. yeah. It looks quite good to be fair. It looks alright, mm. yeah. But mm. you know, looks can be deceiving, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see, we'll make our minds up. Hero wasn't too rough. No, I think no. people make that out to be a lot worse than it is. Yeah, um, I mean, it was a bit uncomfortable on my shoulders. Yeah. I don't really know who designed those ride cars, but I think they were on some sort of intoxication when yeah. when they did it. It's really not a comfortable um, car, is it? And a really no. weird system of getting in and... Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to get in while it's still moving. And yeah, and it's quite... Yeah, and then getting out and, you, oh, it was, it was just, it's a bit of a mess trying to get through the station, yeah. to be honest. But the actual ride itself wasn't as bad as, yeah, it wasn't too as bad. I expected by what no, people had no. said. I've been on worse, to be honest. I mean, out of the three roller coasters we've done today, it's probably my least favourite out of the three. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Then, I mean, the other two were, yeah. Yeah, really enjoyed the other two. Um, that one's just okay, I guess. Mm, yeah, mm. but still enjoyable. I yeah, don't think it was yeah. the worst thing ever. No, not the worst at all. Uh, we just watched the Pirates as well yeah, while we were eating Zanzibar. our dinner. Mm, that was good, wasn't it? Quite, quite fun. Yeah, it's quite fun. They're on, I mean, considering it's a Monday, they're still on three times a day, I think, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. So, which I didn't yeah. expect a lot of places, like during the week, they don't do that sort of thing, do they? No. So I didn't expect it to be on, but no. it is. And we also noticed, actually, that one of them was actually one of the entertainers from the yeah. um, <laughs> Evolution restaurant <laughs> at like, uh, West looks... Midlands Safari Park. The event, not West Midlands Safari Park, sorry. Yorkshire Wildlife Yorkshire Park. Park, yeah. <laughs> Some sort of park. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? Mm. So I assume he, he so uh, works here during ago. the day as a pirate, yeah. and then he goes home and drives up to... Um, Yorkshire Wildlife to do that, that in the evenings. Yeah. So yeah, that so, was really weird. Um, but we're just on our way to the zoo. Zoo now, we? yeah. We're gonna go see the animals. Don't really know where Should we're going. Cause no, we know this no. Park, so uh, we're just gonna keep heading whichever way we're going. Hope we eventually find some animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's time for the toilet. That's good. Oh, Muddy Duck Farm. That looks like we're heading in the right direction. Yeah. We've just passed Mischief Mansion. That looks like that's closed. Um, quite a few rides are closed today, actually, which is a shame. Yeah, quite a few. Just, that is what it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll go see what the zoo's like. Mm -hmm. One thing that's worth mentioning is that 
if you go through the children's play area they have got a few animals around there which it probably are easy to miss if you don't have children because you obviously why else would you go to a children's play area um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah like the mongoose we're here now Craig's filming the mongoose um, they've got red river hog and coati we haven't seen the coati at the moment um, and they've also got the reptile river and we'll see what else got they've got around houses, here yeah, yeah around there mm -hmm. um, it's quite cool is this in this yeah. isn't it yeah. but yeah it's a bit odd for people that don't have children because you end up wandering around the children's play area looking for animals and it does look a bit weird but hey how Yeah, it is worth going through the children's play area because if you don't, then you'll miss things like meerkats and porcupine, um, mongoose. mongoose. Yeah, they've got otters there, which we didn't see. There was inside, and the quatties was inside. Yeah, but yeah, it's worth going because it's quite some good species there that you'd miss if you didn't. Um, and now we're at the uh, Ruddy Duck Farm where they've got obviously farm animals. They've got some ducks and cows and some really cute little ponies and some little miniature donkeys maybe that's a reindeer um, well that is a reindeer but they have got little donkeys oh i thought you were calling that a donkey no, I sorry <laughs> i wasn't calling that a reindeer i've only just noticed the reindeer um yeah so just past the uh, ruddy duck farm is like this raised walkway which is really cool it goes through like some trees and stuff but either side they've got like loads of different species like alpaca and emu and a really huge penguin enclosure and i think everybody loves a penguin don't they Massive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, massive, it's massive. A lot of, uh, mm. It's got a really nice water feature in the middle. Mm. And they've got these cool little signs that show you the size of all penguins, like every yeah. species. Look at this! <laughs> it's an emperor. Biggest I mean, penguin in the world. Yeah, I mean, I knew they were the biggest, but we've never actually seen them in real life before. No. So, no. I mean, that is a big penguin. That's a huge penguin. Look at it. I've been a fight, that. <laughs> There we go, and then here we've got the Gen 2, which is what you usually see at sea life centres in the um, cold areas. And then all the way down here, that's the chin strap, the macaroni, royal penguin, jelly penguin, pombals, which they've got here. And yeah. pretty much in every zoo anywhere, if you see penguins in an outdoor exhibit, it's probably going to be a Humboldt, and this is where they are. So still, I don't know, I mean, compared to the ones that are in there, it does, the signs do look a little bit big, I think. Mm. But but there you go, Humboldt penguin. And down here we have the Adam of the penguin world. The Adam of the penguin world. The little penguin. That's it's cute, isn't it? Look at the size of it. Tiny, <laughs> bless it. Oh. Little. Oh, sorry, <laughs> A bit of a staple at most zoos these days is the um, wallaby walkthrough enclosures. And this one is huge, really big, a really big uh, wallaby walkthrough enclosure, really good as well. Um, and they've got the swamp wallaby and the palmer wallaby. And they've not got a sign for it, but we believe they've got the um, yellow footed rock wallaby as well, which is a wallaby that we've never seen, never before. seen before. So that was cool. Wasn't it? Mm, yeah. yeah. In fact, a lot of the wallab swamp wallabies we've seen a couple of times recently. But usually it's um, rednecks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That you see. So, yeah, really nice to see different species of wallaby. In general as well, the zoo is uh, really, really good. Lot, mm, lot a more, lot more to it than I thought it was going to be. It's a big zoo. It's a really big zoo, isn't it? Bigger Quite than that, I remember. Yeah, most of the parks is zoo, really. 
um, and the enclosures are really big um, the views of the animals are really good there's not a lot of obstruction from cages and um, glass and stuff um, and it's really quite natural looking as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. I've um, not even covered all the zoo yet. No, we've still got some to do. Look at, yeah. Um, but yeah, loads better than I thought it was going to be, mm. actually. I'm really, really impressed with the zoo section. Really impressed. Oh, you want me to tell? So I've had a good walk around the zoo there. Massive, isn't it? Yeah, really, really good. I'm really impressed with the zoo here, yeah. actually. Yeah, really I didn't enjoyed it. I expect it to be this big. I certainly don't remember it being this big when I was younger. No. Um, but maybe it's because my memory isn't that good. But yeah, really, really nice zoo. Um, it's getting close to closing time now, so we're going to see if we can bang out another ride. Uh, and then we're going to head to the gift shop because there's a mug that we've got our eye on that's really nice. And we do love a mug. <laughs> we do. Well, you do. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> there we are. Little Flamingo Land mug with all the animals in colour. Really nice, that, isn't it? Yeah, it is a nice mug. There was another one, there was another nice one which was bigger and it was um, sort of black with the logo on, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah. really sleek looking. But yeah, mm -hmm. that's the mug we went for. It was. Do bloody love a mug. Um, so yeah, that's it for Flamingo Land. Um, we'll be back again hopefully next year if Inversion or whatever the new coaster is going to be called opens. Um, and hopefully a few more rides will be back open again. Yeah, yeah, one disappointing thing is quite a lot. I mean, Lost River ride, Lost River ride is closed. Flip Flop was closed. Navigator was closed. Cliffhanger was closed. Mischief Mansion was closed. Um, and I'm sure there's some more that I'm missing. So there was quite, oh, Kamali was closed. So yeah, it's a bit of a shame that there wasn't more open. Um, and it's a bit of a shame they weren't faster at getting people on and off because yeah. it did take a, a long time to queue for the amount of people that were actually there. But a really nice park. Yeah. Um, nice few rides there. Even Hero, actually, I, I enjoyed. It wasn't as bad as, as I expected it was going to be from what people have said. I, I enjoyed that. Velocity was really good. Mumbo Jumbo is really good. And the zoo. Beautiful mm, zoo. Lovely really zoo. Nice zoo. Really nice zoo. So, yeah. Flamingo Land fans. Um, but, oh, God. It's going to be a long journey back. I'm not looking forward to that. Anyway, though, um, there's more theme park content coming up. Next week, we will be at Thorpe Park to check out the new Black Mirror Labyrinth. So, subscribe to us if you want to see that. There'll be more theme park content and animal content coming your way. So, subscribe for all that content. Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Comment, because why the hell not? And we'll see you next time we do stuff. Well, that is a reindeer, but they have got little donkeys. Oh, I thought you were calling that a donkey. No, I wasn't, Sorry. I wasn't calling that a reindeer. <laughs>